Hey there. Yes? Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. Tis a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who is it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. He says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him is a good idea. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers. But I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Triss. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Lots of blue jerkins. And... Greetings. Yes? Heard you can get fresh trout around here. Cheap. What? Trout? Touch a trout? <laughs> get chewed out. <laughs> Understand? It'll give you a right bollock. <laughs> Yeah. Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise. Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way. 
It's not far. Oh, my always going up, Bill. Want from you. I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Oh, oh, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, Miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye. You're surely right, Miss. I. It just weren't what I expected since Lady Vagel, bud. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the Guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the Guardsmen. But since the Hunters pay for every mage revealed to him... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family and whispered a word to the Hunters anyway. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals or blue roses from Nazaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes, most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all.
So long. Someone's in a good mood. So? Nothing. Just, you look good when you're giddy. You get everything? Everything's ready. We can go. Just a shame you didn't dress up like I asked. Really expected me to show up in a lacework collar, ruffles on my trousers? You'd even look great wearing a bustle. Dad, I want to know what that is. For now, you'll just have to survive on bread and witcher. Well then, shall we go?
Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. Rules in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Must be some mistake. You know why we're here, don't you? Of course. But I've orders to make certain every guest enters the estate unarmed. Damn it. A pleasant evening to you both. Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Marigold. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Trace, not what we're here for. No, it's exactly why we're here. Well, Moritz? Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So. The less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian! Hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside the passive floor, huh? Come back, you coward! What a jackass. Oh, let's look around. Uh, excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight, but if you trust this man... Like no one else. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. He seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Let's look for Albert. Breathe. 
Lady Yes. Think so. Hold him off. Rabbit's not a bit wrong. Would a witch might come here? Well, yes. Mark my words, I'll kick him out. That's another night for that whore. I've heard ballads about you. And mm -hmm. that sorceress of yours, Gwyneth. What, what is it? I'm getting old. Baths are in suit. I highly recommend you visit. Stop him, Ryder! Time to invest in a movie. You'll not find much to do with them. Yes. Yes, darling. Albert Zagelbud? Phew, my sweet. I can be out of Valentino. Oh. Behave yourself. Do what you must, but behave. Why would a witch come here? It's not night for that whore. Yes. I bid you a cool farewell. <laughs> Back again, William. Beg your pardon? <laughs> Albert Vagelbud? Do I look like a pathetic buffoon and mummy's boy to you? Well. Oh, by the gods! Truth is, we're already dependent on the black ones, economically. And then, a colossal, a colossal boom! Like us? Yes. Albert Vagelbud? No. <laughs> I am a black panther. Oh, my count. Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are. Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later, a jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. Power of the Eternal Fuck. Care to sit down for a spell? Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about? Yes. About that mage we met earlier? Ah, oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. 
See, but you're the one organizing the Major's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. You're a charismatic leader. Simple as that. You really think so? Absolutely. Next thing you know, they'll be calling you Iron Marigold. Could even wear an eye patch and it'd look right. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were being sincere. Of course I'm being sincere. Look at me. Didn't blush a bit. <laughs> Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No. Just some lost guest. Shh. Must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, biag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. Oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Nude. <laughs> come on, Geralt. Triss, wait. Geralt, coming? Gerald, coming? Miss Marigold, at last! So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. Under any other circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagelbud. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's not towards you, Count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. <sighs> Doubt it. Good 
Let's end this. Ah. Ah. You're fucking dead, Rick. Yeah. That's it! All together! Yeah. Begun to worry. Everything's fine, though you should probably send someone to uh, clean up the garden before any guests wander in there. I'm to send servants to the garden? Yes. I shall see to it, and you must hurry. Everything's set? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It's, uh, it's more than I expected. Stunningly more, frankly. Excellent. So where are we going to get away to? You? Nowhere. What happened at the fountain? It was my fault. I know the, the wine it went straight to my head. I'm sorry. Tris, don't apologize. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. <laughs> 